Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is of course Catman Joe and welcome back everyone to another brand new Minecraft news video on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a few different things all related to the Minecraft mob vote and all the Minecraft live news of course but most of all if the Minecraft mob vote will be ending. Now the reason I say such a big statement like that is because the community recently has had a massive amount of backlash towards the Minecraft mob vote this year more so than any other year we've actually ever seen and today I'm going to be covering all the news regarding that and there's five actual specific different topics I want to cover today including my own personal opinion on the situation the effects this actual entire i guess movement could have uh, obviously mojang's response to the entire thing the community boycott itself and of course the stop the mob vote petition so without further ado let's get right into the news so the other day a petition was started on change.org and it was actually regarding the mob vote and the petition's name was stop the mob vote put an end to the scrapping of great ideas now to say this petition has blown up would be literally probably the understatement of the year this petition in a matter of just two days has managed to gain almost 200,000 signatures, with it currently right now sitting at 187,000 and about to reach 188,000, with 129,000, almost 130,000 people signed it just today. So let's go and read through the entire of this petition and let's see what it has to say. For years, Minecraft's yearly update has given players the mob vote, the option to vote between three creatures to be added to the yearly update. This year, three equally great options are presented, which reveals a problem with the game's content release cycle. The mob vote generates engagement by tearing the community apart leaving fantastic ideas on the cutting room floor and teasing content that will never be seen in the game. That mixed with the fact that Mojang somehow releases less content with Microsoft's backing than they did without means players see minimal content to the game they love and which is possibly the one thing to get them to play again is ripped from them. Many have expressed their discontent with the mob vote in the past with fan favorites like the Moobloom not making it into the game and with the content creators mobilizing their fan bases to vote for the least popular option for the joke of screwing over the other voters. This shows that the vote or the mob vote is inherently flawed. Lastly, Minecraft made its popularity due to its regular updates and large amounts of content. This was back as early as 2011. Now, Minecraft is not only the highest selling game ever released, but has the financial backing of the massive corporation Microsoft. Despite this, players only receive a single very small content update each year. The mob vote teases at some of that content only for a third of what was teased to make it in, further decreasing the content of the update. So we call upon Mojang, stop the mob vote give us the three mobs each year if unpaid modders can add your mobs to the game within days after they're announced the least you could do is keep up with the content frequency that made minecraft famous and that is the entire post for the article now i've got to say this was a very 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 interesting article to read um, i kept seeing it all over my twitter and um, not the actual article itself but people posting about the article itself and that's what initially put me onto my actual track of course of knowing what the article was but reading it myself for the first time right then and there um, i have some pretty interesting opinions that i want to give however i'm going to do my very best to wait until the very end of the actual video to give my opinions so if you're interested in that please just wait for that so the next thing i wanted to talk about is kind of related to the entire petition and that is the hashtag stop the mob vote movement that is happening all over Twitter and all over really what seems like the Minecraft laid internet at the minute. Now this is basically a boycott for the Minecraft mob vote of course that is trying to implore players to not actually participate in the actual mob vote this year to hopefully somewhat I guess make a message or give a message to Mojang that they need to change things but it has kind of really gone a little bit too far in terms of going from just a meme or an actual movement that people genuinely want to happen to becoming a little bit more somewhat aggressive um, and we're going to talk about that in a few minutes but probably by far one of the biggest posters for this has been the at minecraft meme 16 account this is an account i actually follow on twitter um, and this account basically in a nutshell posts memes from the r slash minecraft meme subreddit um, all over twitter now it posts pretty much every single day a lot of different posts but pretty much all of its recent posts have been directed at the minecraft developers calling them lazy and addition on top of that as well and um, basically trying to i guess start this big movement to stop the mob vote for example a post that is now actually deleted by the account because it got a little bit of backlash has been an actual post saying never ask the minecraft community and then it says never ask a woman her age a man his salary and never ask the minecraft community how king b dogs the modder that made the ether suddenly became lazy the nanosecond he started working at mojang studios and if you think that's a bit kind of like aggressive in general it really just continues to go from there this next post was actually by the account saying mojang would never add something that could danger the real life animal right question mark cough cough fireflies and frogs and then it, calls, it of course shows a photo at the top saying Mojang be like, penguins can, act, uh, can also help your boat travel faster, which I could definitely use right now. And then it says penguins in real life when they get near a boat. A little penguin found dead on a safety bay beach on September 1st, most likely died from a boat strike. 
it's just a bit far. And of course, from there, there's also Join the Boycott, which of course, I think is quite probably one of the best photos actually from this entire movement. It's a good kind of meme photo, but if you actually understand what they're basically ridiculing or taking, um, I guess, inspiration from with that photo, it's a little bit more serious. Um, but it says, all or none, not just one, boycott the mob vote. Then for example, another one here, we need this to end. And it's got a photo of course saying, I want you to stop the mob votes. And again, it's another kind of, uh, you know, we, we want you to join the military kind of for the army kind of meme kind of post another one with just the hashtag stop the mob vote or stop the vote and it says mojang before we hand out awesome updates and funny new content mojang now we do mob votes here's another example right here which says boycott maybe question mark and it says why settle for less when we could have it all it's got the mojang logo of course mojang text and it says boycott the vote now this is just a handful of tweets i'm picking directly from the actual app minecraft meme 16 account which in all fair respect i love and i've even stolen some memes from this account and posted up on my community tab um because you know in general i might as well so i'm not trying to seem like i'm going right directly at them or trying to fling shade at them directly but i, I do think that there is a level towards it where it's kind of it's borderlining from funny to a little bit more aggressive to be honest now following the actual hashtag itself there's also some other posts that i want to share which is uh, for example this one here from cheese world real and it says we deserve better and it's a massive post here but it says mojang studios minecraft dearest mojang that of course has a bit of a i guess a, a bit of a resume as towards what they what they would like we call upon you during these unprecedented times to show the best in humanity it may seem trivial to only add one fan requested feature instead of teasing all three but it would mean a lot to the fan base to not do this anymore we deserve more please stop the vote and either release all the mobs or none at all it would make a lot more sense instead of teasing the fan base or three good ideas and only adding one can regards your loyal fan base and loving fans hashtag stop the mob vote here's another tweet here from someone else using the hashtag called Silas phantom saying it's great to see this is trending and that people finally did say something about this crap just a reminder for y'all to remember what some useless and stupid mobs took from us to this day i can consider myself a hashtag number one sniffer hater and of course it shows the meerkat ostrich vulture moobloom isolager glare copper glare or copper golem excuse me rascal and tough golem so yeah pretty much people are using the hashtag to kind of spread almost like war propaganda against the minecraft mob vote which is rather strange uh, to say the least but it's an interesting spectacle to watch so moving on from the petition and the boycott and the memes and stuff i wanted to actually take a minute to kind of acknowledge what the developers have been going through with all of this now from what i've seen the developers have been rather quiet recently with only a couple of them actually really tweeting out people or kind of responding to people that are kind of sharing i guess misinformation or their opinions that they've wanted to kind of chime in on. So for example here, we've got a tweet here coming from someone called at hats on dog saying common misconception regarding the mob vote is that Mojang is scrapping entirely fleshed out mobs when they lose, when in fact, these are just the same as if they were pitching an idea in a meeting. The point of the vote is to see which mob is worth fleshing out and expanding upon. Now Felix or Exvile fan, I'm, I'm not too sure how I'm even ever meant to pronounce his name. I've tried it multiple times, but I never can get it right. He's a tech lead for Minecraft basically in a nutshell, Minecraft Battle Condition gameplay. Um, at least from what his description on Twitter says. He says, in my opinion, the videos in their current form do nothing to communicate this. There is an idea of what mobs would do, that's shown in the video, but there's additional work to be done. Doing that before there is a winner would mean wasting 66% of the time on the mobs that didn't win. Someone then responded to a tweet by the name of Ninja Realm by saying, I think the original vote where it was just sketches and placeholder names are a good way to do it. Felix then responding back by saying, yeah, you're probably correct. If one wants to communicate the state of development for each mob, maybe the solution is both. Information live action video for the hardcore audience to discuss and the animations to serve the majority of players who just need to know they can vote. Next, we've got some tweets here that King B Dogs actually chimed in on. And if you don't know what King B Dogs is, he was kind of mentioned earlier on in one of the actual meme posts, of course, uh, from Minecraft Meme 16. Uh, he himself is actually the creator of the Ether Mob, uh, or mod, excuse me, and uh, is pretty much the guy I believe who was kind of partially or majorly responsible uh, for the warden and stuff like that, from my understanding. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to go into all the tweets that are mentioned here because basically the way this conversation initially began was someone called the Wither King uh, posted up a tweet and then followed up with actually 11 more tweets. So in, technically it was 10 more tweets. Now people then start responding back to the initial tweet and it kind of developed and snowballed from there. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to read the initial first tweet and then obviously of course the other tweets that came after that from uh, well, one specific person that King, uh, King B Dogs himself actually specifically responded to. So starting off our conversation we've got the initial tweet from the Wither King saying so I'm hearing a lot of blatant misinformation about what the Minecraft mod votes are, how they work, etc. Let's start off with a very common claim. Modders 
can do more in less time. I can tell you this, yes, they can, but is that always a good thing? Now that's where their conversation initially begins. Now from there, actually King B Dawes himself actually responded to their conversation. Now what happened was I think they had posted their living tweets, of course, their twit longer, whatever you want to call it. And then King B Dogs saw it and actually responded back, of course, to them. Now, unfortunately, that tweet from King B Dogs has been deleted, but we still actually have got photographic proof of it, of course. Actually, thankfully, due to the actual Minecraft subreddit, of course, or Minecraft meme subreddit, because people screenshotted it. Um, and obviously, of course, he posted up saying Minecraft memes, indie studio guys. But you can see the tweet itself, and it says one of the biggest things left out about the whole why not add all three is also all the things the community wouldn't get because we'd be focusing on adding two extra mobs. This time, or excuse me, time isn't some free resource. If we worked on all of them, we'd have less in the core update. Now, after that tweet was posted, and of course, before it was deleted, someone called Lady Sandra Pond responded back to it by saying, come on, dude, you and the rest of your team already know the toxicity these mob votes create. We hate it. We don't want these mob votes to be done this way, or we don't want these mob votes to be done this way. This is just cheap, and even these mobs have stuff that your own fan base has been asking for years, but we only get one what? Then following on from that, they tweeted out again by saying, just literally, why not change them into mob themes or vote for the mob that gets added first without removing the others forever? These small changes would work so well. Why not? Or why can we only get one? These three cute animals fit into the game so well, but only one, of course. Now, King B Dogs responding back to that tweet by saying, you must be misinformed. The losers are not lost forever. They're put into an ideas library or they're put into the ideas library where we implement them later when the time is right. And that tweet, of itself obviously of course caused all the backlash but continuing on he added another tweet onto that by saying with the clarification that when the time is right could mean any time from now until the end of the universe there's no telling when the time is right or the right time is but it's good to have these filed as popular or fi yeah filed as popular ideas the community seem to like then carrying on from there lady sandra pawn responding back by saying all right i already knew that information but i forgot an the forever part remove that part do you still not see the problem with the way mob votes are done question mark even when so many people have been pointing them out for years there are so many alternatives or there are even so many alternatives now this prompted one more response from king b dogs and that was pretty much it king b dogs had not responded to any more comments from lady sandra pawn or anyone else in that entire actual thread but he responded back by saying this developers slash designers aren't typically the ones who control how things like mob votes operate thanks for the feedback but not much i can do other than forward that feedback now that was pretty much the end of it from king b dogs because in a nutshell what ended up happening was basically people just kept kind of firing off at him basically and saying that you know you're, you're giving the rockstar games definition of soon basically and uh, there was many 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 more comments from people just pretty much just slandering uh pretty much king b dogs because of the fact that they said uh, it could be added in the future of course um but there's not lost forever and the problem with that that many people kind of made was that you know they're basically saying that they could add these of course in the future when the time's right or when they would fit into the game basically better and a lot of people drew comparisons to updates that have actually came and they, these kind of features or these mobs that have actually been voted out could have been added and they would have been perfect but they were not added um it, it was a huge discussion i'm not going to fully get into but yeah that was pretty much everything from all the actual minecraft twitter developers that are actually on the, the platform at the minute so before we end i want to share my actual personal opinion and what i think the effects of this entire ordeal or this entire i guess movement could have on the minecraft community um, and, and just kind of personally just chat about what I think about all of this. So straight off the bat, I, I really personally think that this is kind of a, a really bad thing um, for the Minecraft community. I think that it really just makes all of us look incredibly entitled when we shouldn't be that way. You know, listen, we have an amazing game on our hands here. We've all, we all love Minecraft. If there's anything we can all agree on, whether it's you, you like Mojang, you dislike Mojang, whatever it may be, we all do personally like Minecraft. We've got a lot of fond memories with the game, hence why we feel so passionately about it. But please always try and remember the fact that we bought this game as a one-off purchase. We don't have to pay for DLC. We don't have to pay for updates. We don't have to pay for any additional features to added to the game for free, like the mob vote mobs, like future updates, and like any other things that Mojang give us as a little bonus. All of those things are Mojang actually helping increase the game's value and increase the game's popularity and keep the game interesting for all of us. So although I do agree with the fact that all three mobs should be added, like why not? You know, they're the simplistic little mobs. But I, I do also have to agree with the fact that I don't know enough about coding or developing or making games to understand it. This might not be as easy as I'm just adding all three to the game just like a slap on the hand and it may be a little bit more complicated than that personally i do take into a grain of salt the fact that the you know the king b dog says that you know if they were to add these two other mobs it would take a lot more time away from the the big updates or the core updates because i think that adding two extra mobs that you know really are quite small in comparison to other mobs it's not the warden it's not the ender dragon it's not the weather i, I think that is a bit
bit of an overshoot and i think that's a bit kind of uh, i guess presumptuous that it would take somehow a lot more time away from the core update but then again like i said i'm no game developer and i don't know how all this stuff works so maybe it does just to clarify i understand of course it would take away time from the core update itself being developed by some actual developers but i mean it, it shouldn't take away that much time that's what i was trying to convey there but again i'm no developer so who knows how this all really works other than the people that make the game now obviously i can't see into the future so i don't know exactly what's going to happen from all of this but i do have to say that i personally do think that 200,000 plus people signing a petition to put an end to the mob vote is potentially going to put an end to the bloody mob vote let's be honest it's quite actually surreal that so many people have came out of their way to kind of go out and say that they do not want mob votes to happen anymore and it's kind of sad as well because as much as mob votes can sometimes frustrate me when the mob that i want to win doesn't win and there's no chance of probably ever seeing it again i do also still enjoy the entire event and that's because well partially it benefits me because obviously i do have a bias in the situation i earn an income and livelihood and, and revenue from these kind of videos and from the, the information regarding the mob vote so of course i'm going to want it to continue but even as a player from a non-biased point of view i also actually genuinely enjoy the mob vote it creates a lot more hype for the game it makes it a lot more interesting to play and it makes you excited for potentially a mob that you otherwise wouldn't have been excited for so yeah everybody that is everything i'm going to say for today's video i, I know this has been an incredibly lengthy video and i really do want to apologize for that i spent god knows how long editing this video you can actually see it's dark outside and it was light when i started but if you guys did go and enjoy this video please be sure to drop liking it share with your friends and family drop a comment let me know your thoughts down below whether you agree with me or disagree with me regardless you're allowed your opinion and i value it regardless and of course please be sure to subscribe guys if you want to stay up to date with all the latest minecraft news leaks and information from within the community anyway other than that i'm gonna go right now i've got some stuff to do so peace out everybody have a good night and everybody bye bye